Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a bit of a start of a series really, um, using FIFA 23. Um, this is the first FIFA I've bought since 2017. Um, really what I ever used to do on this game was do uh, World Cups and things like that for my friends. Um, unfortunately, don't really do that anymore, no one plays split screen. Um, but yeah, back in 2014 I did a how to create more international uh, teams on FIFA. Uh, it's the second most viewed video on my channel. So I thought I would create a new one, a little bit better edited than uh, the one that's on there now. Um, so I thought I'd do that really. Um, show you how I'm doing it. I do it a little bit better now than I used to. So um, basically I'm going to show you in this video how on earth I make the international teams on FIFA and how you can make a World Cup of your own um, with majority of teams uh, that you ever want to. Uh, there's 81 teams I think that uh, you can make on FIFA this year, uh, including four uh, rest of the world teams. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll show you how to make it. So, your first step is to go onto this website here, uh, which is hosted by Fandom. Um, the link is in the description below. Uh, I should be making it very obvious for you to get here. Uh, this has all the FIFA 23 international teams that you can make um, in the game using the club transfers uh, part of the game. Obviously, it ruins all your teams um, as you're doing it along, but um, it's good to host World Cups and things like that. So what you used to be able to do on Xbox 360 is make a new account for it um, so it didn't affect your original game. Um, but I just did it on my own account because I don't really use FIFA for anything else. Um, this is slightly wrong. It says uh, 35 teams. There's actually 34 teams. Brazil's not in the, in the game, which I was surprised about. So that's slightly wrong. I've added 46 nations to uh, th the game, um, so you just need to uh, know there's 46 in there, and then there's four rest of teams, so uh, obviously these are rest of different continents. Uh, North and South America are together, um, Africa, uh, Europe, and Asia, and with uh, Oceania on that, with Fiji uh, represented in that. Um, so yeah, that's that's these are the teams. Obviously, you can see standout nations on here. I'll just go through them quickly, just to just to show sh show some off, really. Um, quick note here. Obviously, Cape Verde. Uh, there's plenty of Cape Verde players in the game. Um, they just not go got no goalkeeper, so I've had to give them a Senegalese goalkeeper. Um, he's about the similar rating. So I'm happy we've given them that really, um, but that's that's what I've had to do for a few nations. Just give them a goalkeeper to give them another team really, because I think I think some some really deserve it. Um, the way I got all these players really was using Footwiz, um, using the Ultimate Team, um, and then you can filter it by country, and then I also did it in um, their Footwiz career mode once that was released, um, and then. I could add a little bit, a few more players in, uh, if need be. But obviously, some team nations only have one goalkeeper, um, but I've left it like that, so because I'd rather have one goalkeeper that's actually from the nation, uh, representing it, uh, to that extent really. Um, same again here, Senegalese goalkeeper. Uh, but yeah, there's there's some plenty of countries to go at, and it's really helpful to have this. Um, in all honesty, um. Bit of an example here, Iran and Iraq are, are one team. Obviously, Iran were in the World Cup this year. Um, so I have added them uh, as one nation with Iraq just to give them enough players, um, obviously. Each nation should have 25 players, um, but obviously there's some examples here, like Iran and Iraq only have 19 uh, that are in the game. Um, the way you could add probably more players, um, which I haven't done, is go actually go into the game, have a look at career mode, and see if there's any other players that you've missed uh, that you might be able to find. Uh, you can't search for nations on club transfers, which would be really, really uh, helpful for me, but you can't do that. So you have to go into career mode and do it, but I know career mode's not as good as it used to be, so it's just one of them. Uh, but yeah, there's plenty of nations to get out here. They're actually not all updated on this sheet. Um, so once this video gets released, this, these will all be updated um, to include Brazil. And I think I added Israel as well. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's step one. So get onto this website and then um, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll uh, see you on uh, FIFA, the self, FIFA itself. So what you want to do is go on to FIFA, obviously, uh, go to the customize uh, tab. Obviously go down to edit teams and then go to club transfers. 
In this part of the video, I've decided to do uh, Macedonia or North Macedonia. Um, I decided to go for MacArthur, which are obviously a team in Australia, just because of alphabetically Mac, Mac Macedonia, whatever. Obviously, you've got a load of players here that um, are not um, Macedonian, so you want to put them somewhere. Basically, I use free agents, but I've actually filled them up by this point, so I'm just finding a random team that I know I haven't turned into a club um, and just launched them in there just to get it down to 18 players, just so basically I can fill up the players, or uh, the whole team, sorry, with uh, Macedonian players, uh, obviously, get it down to as little as possible, and then there we go, we can fill in with the players that we want. Obviously, you're going to have players all over the spot by this point, so do not update your game. Otherwise, you'll lose all your all your history, basically, and everything you've done. Um, I have now actually lost everything, but I've put everything in tournament modes that I want to do for this, basically, this series. Um, so, yeah, make sure you do it that, otherwise you are screwed. As you can see, on the right-hand side, uh, my expel sh Excel spreadsheet has popped up um, and that has all the Macedonian players so basically what you need to do is go through that whole list and find as many players as you can on that list the ones in red I actually couldn't find to be fair um, so if you've updated it before you do it all you might actually be able to find these players but I did this quite early in the season um, so yeah some of them are missing uh, but just good luck and see if you can find them basically um, obviously you can go see who we're going through now uh, we're going to Stojanovic uh, we'll look for Nilsson now. Um, so yeah, basically just look for all these players um, and that'll give you a opportunity really um, just to fill up this team uh, and make it quite fun really. You can make World Cups, you can make um, European Championships, things like that really. It's it's unbelievable really. There isn't. It's quite endless possibilities to be fair of what you can do. Um, yeah, just to give you some context, uh, you can add 50 nations to the team, including uh, rest of world teams, but it is pretty good to be fair. Um, it is really good indeed to be fair. Um, as you can see, I'm now showing you um, Velkovsky. This isn't actually Velkovsky who I want. I've noticed he's Bulgarian, um, he's not actually in the game. So what I end up doing is having a look for him. Can't find him anywhere. So I try spelling sometimes uh, in the Eastern European teams. Uh, the spelling is a bit different. So I try to have a look, see if I can find him elsewhere. Um, obviously, you can filter by position and obviously uh, overall as well, which is kind of helpful. So if you know that, then you can help it out a little bit. But unfortunately, I couldn't find him. Uh, so what we're doing now is filling up the rest of the players. Um, as you can see, we are slowly filling up uh, the rest of the team. Uh, looking for Ivanovsky. Uh, there he is. So we launch Ivanovsky into MacArthur. And then obviously we've got a full team of players there uh, that we're looking for. We're now going to look for players that um, we can't find. So back to Velkovsky, uh, we're going to Al Etifak uh, to try find him, basically. Obviously, yeah, we can't find him, so he's got to be somewhere, but he might not be, and that's the issue of this game. Looking at it, he's not actually on the game. Um, whether he is now, what if you update your game, is another matter, but give that a go and see what you can find. But same again, I'm looking for Manev, um, looking for that boy. Uh, he is a 65 rated um, centre back again he's also not on the game so but it is a good way and that's why I've left the team on the right hand side to have a look um, for you basically and um, so now what you want to do is go back to MacArthur uh, go through the team again and get rid of all the players that you don't need obviously there's a few spaces now in free agents so I can put them in there but yeah basically empty all these players out and um, so then you only have the Macedonian players in that you want um, so as I do that, I'll tell you what we've added to the game. Uh, originally, there's 24 European teams. We've added 14. Uh, there's one South American team. We've added nine. Uh, there is originally three North American teams. Uh, we've added another three. Uh, there is two African teams. We've added 15 African teams. There is two um, Asian teams. We've added nine. And there are two Oceania teams and we've added none uh, but that gives you a total of originally 34 teams that are internationally in the game already that you don't have to do anything with and 84 total so adding a total of 50 teams to your roster to make you be able to do whatever you want with it really um, which I think is a cracking deal in all honesty I think 
uh, you can do a lot more with that um, kind of players and I don't understand why there isn't more of these in the game already I think it's a bit embarrassing to be fair that, that that's a thing um, but yeah you can see that we have now finished the team and uh, that makes them a three star international team there so yeah happy with that happy with that indeed so we'll now go over to the team sheets I think um, to go over and just to mix the team up a bit make sure it looks nice uh, change the formation if need be put the best players on the starting lineup basically so obviously it just inherits what MacArthur have uh, formation wise um, so we're going to have a bit of a play just to put the best players on that we can um, obviously this is not going to be the best Macedonian team you can because there will be players that play in the Macedonian league that we just can't get hold of. Um, obviously, if you want to create players, you can do. Um, I had to for some of the Bolivian team just because of the um, CONCACAF kind of style, basically, that I lost players um, that are actually on the game, but you had to make them. So it's just a bit of a ball ache. But yeah, I have a look at changing the formation here. Obviously, there are some familiar faces in this team, such as Alioski, um, can, who else we got in there? N Nesterovsky, Bardi, Ademi, uh, Demotrovic, and all that lot. Um, so yeah, it's quite good, really. Just make sure it's quite fun to do. Um, and I think once I do this World Cup and all that lot that I'm wanting to do, I think it'd be quite good. Um, uh, quite good indeed. So yeah, that is that team pretty happy indeed. Obviously, we've got a few players here that are going to be playing out of position just because we don't have the possibilities of doing that. Um, so yeah. That has been that. Um, pretty happy with that team. Um, obviously, you've got to repeat this every single time uh, for each uh, team just to make sure, one, you've got all the players that you need and, two, that you've got the best starting lineup that, that you possibly can get. Um, obviously, three-star uh, Macedonian team is not great, but there are plenty of other teams that you can do. Um, so I hope that is understandable, really. Um, and if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, but hopefully follow that, look at that video and um, yeah, you'll have 50 more international teams. Goodbye.